Hey folks, what's up? Chris Soriano with you here. I'll be providing coverage of the debate tonight here on AM 970 The Answer, WNYM in New York, AM 970 The Answer dot com. What to look for for this debate tonight? Well, first we have the, I don't like saying Kitty or JB debate, but we have the first debate, the pre-debate, if you will. Uh, Carly Fiorina, Mike Huckabee, Rick Santorum, Rand Paul electing not to come to South Carolina today, feeling disrespected. Rand, listen. If the poll numbers dictate that you are not in the top 5-6%, then you are not in the top 5-6%. Therefore, you cannot participate in the main stage. To me, personally, I think Rand's making a big mistake. I think Rand Paul can easily, easily win this first debate with those three, Fiorina, Huckabee, Santorum. He's choosing not to. Big mistake on Rand Paul, and I think it's only a matter of time before Rand Paul drops out from this race. Um, I have high hopes for Huckabee in this debate. I think Huckabee has handled himself well. I think he can make a big push here to try and get back to the main stage. Santorum, while I do not like, has brought up a lot of very interesting points in this debate. Look for him to come out more aggressive and hungry in this debate. Fiorina, uh, she'll probably attack Trump. That's what she does. Um, not a big Carly Fiorina fan. She ran HP into the ground, and she's going to run her presidential campaign into the ground. Don't expect nothing from Carly Fiorina. Main debate tonight, the Sensational Six. Well, not Sensational, John Kasich, Jeb Bush, Ted Cruz, Marco Rubio, Ben Carson, and, uh, yes, Donald Trump. John Kasich, I think Jared from Subway will be on Sesame Street before John Kasich is President of the United States. I think, you know, while he is a very good conservative, loves his country, means well, his heart's in the right place. Kasich should just drop out. It gives way for the other candidates and for the debate to flow better. As in Ben Carson. You know, Ben Carson has plummeted. He had a great little spot for a couple of weeks, and then he just went down. He is plummeting. He's got people resigning from his campaign staff. It's a mess on Team Carson. I don't expect a lot out of him, but if he wants to get back in this thing, he's got to have a second win. He's got to be the Energizer Bunny tonight. He can't sit there and just be mom and be Ben Carson. He's got to dig down deep and get a little bit more aggressive. Marco Rubio, speaking of aggressive, expect Rubio to come out very aggressive. Because now we're going to crunch time. February 1st of the Iowa caucuses. It's the nitty gritty. I expect Rubio to have a sensational campaign. He thrives in these situations. Marco Rubio is a tremendous debater, as in Chris Christie. I don't like a lot of his policies, but there's no doubt that Christie can debate. He'll hold his, hold his own tonight, excuse me. Ted Cruz, it should be interesting to see how he responds to these attacks that he's not eligible to even run for presidency of the United States, that he's ineligible because he is not a U.S. citizen. Should be interesting. Jeb Bush, listen. How desperate can Jeb get tonight? He's got to be a little desperate. He's got to come down deep. Jeb Bush is failing. This was the guy that Jeb Bush was supposed to be the guy. Conservatives love Bush. The Bush, his father was president, his brother was president. Bush, Bush, Bush. We heard that all coming in. And it has not panned out. Super PACs have given him a lot of money. And they can't be pleased with how his campaign is dwindling. Expect Jeb Bush to come out with a little hunger. Why? Because he has to. He just has to. And Donald Trump, well, what will he say tonight? That's, that's all you can say about Donald Trump. I think the focus tonight should be on the policies, be on the issues, and how can you defeat Hillary Clinton or Bernie Sanders, and why? Why is this president, Barack Obama, doing such a bad job? That's what you have to focus on. You have to go after Obama's policies, and why are they not working? Why wouldn't Hillary be good? Why wouldn't Sanders be good? Don't attack. Now listen, you know you know what's going to happen. Once they bring up the Cruz eligibility situation, Cruz and Trump are going to spar. You can always count for a Trump versus Bush spar. We know that. But you know what? Keep it minimal while it's entertaining. Keep it minimal. Get to the point and focus on the conservative values, Republican values, that will beat, most likely, Hillary Clinton this year. Enjoy the debate.